Time Splitters. A game from Free Radical. This was a dev studio created by ex Rareware devs who were. I guess they left Rare after they did Perfect Dark. Now we're talking about the N64 game. They did GoldenEye and then they did. They did GoldenEye and then they went and they did Perfect Dark and then they left to go and form this and they made a PlayStation game. So, it's actually PlayStation 2. And it's been a long, long time since I played this game. So, let's, uh, let's see how it holds up. Now, this was a big deal. It's hard to, hard to really get across how big of a deal per, uh, Perfect Dark <laughs> Time Splitters was at the time. Because you got to remember what the FPS landscape was on console. Now, on PC, you had, like, Quake and Unreal, and Unreal Tournament and all those games. Tribes, whatever. Which were these... Oh. Actually, you know what? The control scheme feels a little bit more modern than I was expecting. The left stick controls movement, and the right stick points... Oh, oh, okay. The, uh, I would have preferred if these... Axis, this axis was inverted, but whatever. I'll get used to it. You gotta remember that the... Oh, look, I'm in Egypt. <laughs> the landscape of first-person shooters on console, at least, was... Gotcha! Oh, ricochet. <laughs> was a little bit more barren than it is nowadays. Call of Duty had not come out yet. That would still be a couple of years. I got a blunderbuss. How do I... Get, there we go. Oh. Slow the fire. Call of Duty hadn't come out yet. That would be a few years away. Halo. Another big console first person shooter. Hadn't come out yet either. That would still be a couple of years off. So what you basically had was a first person shooter on console landscape. Which looked like, well, the best games were like Goldeneye or Perfect Dark. Now, as pathetic as that sounds, we didn't really know any better. So, yeah, Goldeneye... Oh, shit, I picked up a health thing and I was barely hurt. <laughs> oh, shot in the neck. <laughs> little, little messed up. So, as strange as it may have been, a licensed James Bond game became the best first-person shooter on consoles, and that was Goldeneye. And then Perfect Dark came out, and that was supposedly a better game, although its performance was atrocious. Low frame rate and all of that. But they were pretty much the gold standard of first-person shooters on console. Now you had, like, the Doom games that came out for the PlayStation and the N64, which were, like, of their own quality, and nothing really wrong with them, but they weren't really a tailor-made thing for the type of gameplay that consoles are really made for. So then, Goldeneye comes out. Goldeneye, big deal. Oh, there's some health. Oh, we got a Tommy gun. Goldeneye became a huge deal, and it redefined what first-person shooters on consoles could be. But it the uh, it wasn't really the big renaissance that Halo or the Call of Duty games would end up being a few years later. So as great as they were in the time, they haven't really aged that well. Goldeneye especially. Goldeneye was I mean I can't I tried playing Goldeneye not that long ago and it is bad. <laughs> so here we are the. Rare devs jumped over to the PlayStation and PlayStation 2 and made themselves a first-person shooter. And you know what? This was a worthy successor to that legacy of Goldeneye and whatnot. And when you know, it was a big deal. Now, Time Splitters as a franchise has been dead for well over a decade now. I don't think we're going to see... A new Time Splitters game anytime soon. I don't even think Free Radical still exists. I wonder who owns the IP, if anybody. Oh, zombie. Die, damn it. <laughs> oh, shit.
die. What the fuck? Oh, took his head off. Oh, it's got this friggin' free aim thing, like Goldeneye. It's crap, though. <laughs> well, there's a thingamajig. Oh, I remember now. The levels of this game were not so much like Goldeneye, where you started on one end, you had to complete some mission and progress to the other side. In this, you pretty much went and you collected an item, and then had to retreat back to where you were. Meanwhile, these fuckers spawn and get in your way. Oh, this one's armed. This one's armed. <laughs> um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm almost dead. That's gotta be the way out. <laughs> uh, I can't remember how to get out of here. <laughs> oh, there's the exit. Oh. Rather generous auto aim this thing's got. where I started. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. Oh, there we go. And, ooh, a new best time. New freaking world record, apparently. <laughs> of course, this isn't online. This was before the PlayStation 2 had been connected online. So it is clearly intended to be a multiplayer game, just not an online multiplayer game. All right, so new playable character. Yeah, sure, whatever. 1970 Chinese. Harry Tipper. Christine Malone. Harry... Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's hard to believe that there was a point when this was sort of the pinnacle of console first-person shooters. But it definitely was. And Time Splitters 2 came out, and I didn't spend as much time playing that one. But it was, I think, a better game. And then three, I never played three. So I don't I don't know what that was like. I'd heard good things, I guess. But I think by then, by the time Split Time Splitters 3 came out, I think Halo was out. And Call of Duty was a uh, definitely a PC centric series initially. But there were Call of Duty games. There were Call of Duty games that came out on console. Alright. Oh! Got an M16. Got a shotgun. <laughs> oh man, these character models are so goofy looking. I mean, they're very stylized in terms of the way they look. I mean, their faces are this weird... ...hyper-exaggerated, uh... Facial features. Enemies, I mean, the auto aim is very generous, and it also. Um, oh shit! Come on, stop switching the guns every time I run over a new one. I just want to be stuck with the pistol. I don't have enough ammo to really use the M16. You really only have to get like one good shot in. And the auto-aim, either it's going for the head, or the characters are just dying in one hit. Which makes the assault rifle a little bit unnecessary. I don't have a lot of ammo, so I can't really... Come on, stick your head up. There we go. I'm playing on easy mode. Ah, oh, the damn shotgun again. It keeps... Every time, like... I'm, I'm hoping I'm not getting shot at the next time this thing decides to switch weapons on me. Oh, I got an Uzi. That seems like a bad idea. Oh, my God. Enough of that. Whoa. Where am I getting shot from? 
Probably from this balcony. Right? Shot in the head. Oh, two Uzis. This is a monster closet. Oh, bathroom. Having gold in my flashbacks. Help in the bathroom. You know, it definitely looks better than what GoldenEye did. Of course, being a new, newer generation console, it's gonna. But it doesn't quite look as good as I would have expected a PlayStation 2 game to look at the end of the generation. Like, PS2 games looked surprisingly good by the end of that generation. Then again, uh, this game came out fairly early in the generation, didn't it? I'm, I'm talking out my ass. <laughs> oh, shotgun again. If I wasn't so concerned that enemies were going to be too far away, I would use the shotgun. Oh, uh, is this where I was? No, it's not. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I'm in a kitchen. I like the, uh, the... This guy, a little dude? Oh, not that little. <laughs> I like the reloading animation. Much better than, like, the other guns where it just... Like, you bring your gun down, then you bring it up, and it reloads. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the enemies uh, exhibit a little bit better AI than they did in... GoldenEye. Where they're... Taking cover, and all of that. Better, more so than they did anyway in... Uh, GoldenEye. I mean, they did a little bit of that kind of thing, didn't they? It's been a while since I played it, so... Not... Oh, shit. Stuff's exploding. Maybe I shouldn't take cover behind all that. It's a good thing you're dumb enough to stand there as I run up. <laughs> oh, okay, this is what I'm after. Okay, the time splitters are gonna appear as soon as I touch it. So... Ah, shit. Shotgun's actually coming in handy. Because most of these things are melee focused. And... dead. Oh, shit. Don't get caught in a reloading animation while you're... getting shot at. Or attacked. I can't get out this way, can I? There was a health pack in here. Get it. Get 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 the health pack. There we are. <laughs> oh shit. I'm getting swarmed. You know, I'm not seeing that many enemies attacking simultaneously. I guess that's a... Uh, I wonder how many enemies this game could handle on screen at once. There we are. Ha ha! A new best time once again. I mean, it's saving a profile, so when it says that, it's the fastest time that I've ever done it with this profile. Seeing as it's the first time I'm doing it with this profile, it's always going to be the best time, isn't it? 2005 Cyberdance. That was actually the future. Deacon Swain. Chastity Detroit. <laughs> oh, boy. Am I oh. ready for this? Oh, God. 2005 was actually the future. Because this game was released in like 2000 or 2001, so it was the future, but not that future-y. 
you know, there really isn't much of a story here, is there? <laughs> it's just, they're dropping you without really any context into a situation, into an area, and then you fight your way in and then fight your way out. Okay, loading. <laughs> we done loading yet? Come on. Come on now. Oh, there we go. Oh, got the sci-fi handgun. Oh, geez. 2005's got some awesome-ass technology, doesn't it? Oh, shit. Huh. Look at this guy's got some weird shit on him. <laughs> future of 2005 is going to be rough. Oh, minigun. Gotta get my Terminator on. What? It's quick to reload that. Uh, what was the other game that was a big deal first person shooter on the PlayStation 2? Was it uh, Red Faction? Red Faction. I should... I should look into that. That game was... You know what? Actually, in my opinion, Red Faction was better than... Time Splitters. For some reason, this gun reminded me of Red Faction. I remember it had that Geomod... Oh, shit. Look at this. Oh, okay. That's a little underwhelming. <laughs> Red Faction had that Geomod technology where you could... Um... reshape the environment by blowing shit up. <laughs> you get to messing with a guy with a... What's this? Oh, is it like a proximity mine? Eh, whatever. Um... Jeez. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to go. This way, I guess? Uh. Oh, it's where I started. Okay, it's how I have to get out. But I can't do that just yet. Hmm. This looks promising. Yep. Dude to kill. That means we're the, we're heading in the right direction. Video game logic. You are very cybernetic. I mean, I don't know what happened between 2001 and 2005, but shit really went downhill. Yeah. Is that like... A... You know, I got a lot of ammo for this. I might as well use it. Hmm. These enemies don't respawn. I mean, the time splitters do. I've seen that happen. But the regular enemies don't respawn. That's a... And that really helps if you get lost. Not constantly. Oh shit, okay, I got it. Alright, gotta remember my way out. It's actually getting a little bit intense. Uh, is this the way out? I don't think this is the way out, but I'm going anyway. Screw it. <laughs> yep, this is the way out. Awesome. It's gonna make me fight for my fight for it. There! Once again, new best time. 
All right, so what's next? New arcade level available. New arcade bot available. New playable character available. All right, so I don't know what all of that means. 1950 Village. Seth Craven or Graven. Seth Graven. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. Characters of a very, um, uh, what is it? Uh, stylized graphic style. I mean, they don't look. They they look more detailed and everything than they did in Perfect Dark or GoldenEye, but they look less human in a way. <laughs> hmm. Oh, got the shotgun. Oh, it wasn't mine. 1950 again. So. Oh, this guy's got weird alien shit on him. <laughs> he kind of looks like um, like the cyborgs, just with a different texture map on him. It's like the the zombies in the first level looked like the time splitters, just with a different texture map on them. Oh shit. The level design is definitely getting more complex. What the hell is that? Is a vampire? Whoa, it's not dead. Oh, okay, it's like the zombies gotta take their heads off. <laughs> you know, I'm not that good at aiming, so that could be a bit of a problem. Help. Oh, the shotgun seems to be really good for it, because, you know. There's another one here. Right over here. These guys are so ugly. I mean, in a game where everybody has a weird stylized art style, you know. They really went for the ugly. Oh, was that it? That was quick. All ass, bro. <laughs> Two minutes and the point one seconds. Nice. <laughs> Spent more time loading. <laughs> New arcade bot. New arcade bot. Oh, the arcade is the, uh, like, the multiplayer. Fingers McKenzie. Ravel Velvet. Jeez. <laughs> he, you know, I remember playing this character a lot in, um, in the multiplayer mode. I don't know why. I just played this dude. Played this guy a lot. Loading. Loading. L loading. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Do I have another gun? Yes, I do. Yeah, what do you need the sniper rifle for? Auto aim just like does crazy good job. <laughs> oh, that's shit. I mean, I hit him, but he didn't die. Oh, what? Like I was in the dark. I didn't even hit that guy, but he died. These enemies standing in the shadows is getting a little irritating. What the fuck is that? Oh, 
Okay, so I died. <laughs> Trying to take out a gun turret. Alright, so... That... That should actually be the end. 25 minutes in. But, uh, let's go and take a look at some of the... Because, I mean, I'm not gonna... On the X map, maybe... No oh, map maker! Oh, this is honestly what I spent most of my time doing in this game. Not so much playing the actual game, but making maps. This was great. Oh, look at this. I mean, map makers were, I mean, since, like, Doom. Doom had the uh, modding tools for people to create their own maps. But it was... That wasn't a console thing. That was on PC. So you would go and you could make your own maps in that, modding it. But it was definitely the first experience I had like doing level design and all that kind of crap in, uh, how do I, there we go, was in Time Splitters. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Now let's, uh, light, light on, light on, what am I, uh, light, okay. Flickering, switching fast, okay. Let's turn on some of these lights, and let's, um, preview map, here we go. Now, I didn't put any bots or anything in here, but you could just take a, a run around the map. You could... I mean, I spent a lot of time doing this. Now, it's it doesn't have the tools necessary for you to create a map that's like the uh, things that you play through in the campaign. It's all going to be deathmatch and all that kind of stuff, and you don't have the kind of ability to create details the way you did. But you can throw together your own map, and you can create something that's pretty nice... Not as good, of course, as the the maps that they have. But, I mean, you can make something alright. This game really would have benefited from coming out a couple of years later. After the network adapter had released for the PS2. Some online deathmatch, especially in a custom map. I mean, I don't know how long it would have taken to download the necessary data for the custom maps for everybody on everyone playing in the deathmatch but it still I mean it would have been awesome let's get out of here there was a kind of not it I guess it was like call of duty zombies call of duty zombies I I don't remember what it was called Maybe that's why I always picked this character, because he defaulted. <laughs> he was the default character that would always load up. But you would have, like, you were in a house and zombies would just flood in and you constantly just fight them until they killed you. I think that's how it was. Call of Duty Zombies did something like that. And Left for Dead did something like that, called uh, Last Stand. Where you just fight until you died. There was no winning. I think that's the way this game was. I mean, it's 2021 right now. It's June of 2021. How do I... Okay. Are there bots? Are there any bots here? Oh, shit. What am I... My... Okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I guess I'm defending these positions and they're trying to destroy the crystals. But that's no fun. And I was killed again. But anyway, I gotta, uh... 
half an hour. That's long for an episode of Until I Die, so I gotta, I gotta end it. 